Welcome to Spin Size Bootcamp series on Cisco CVP Call Studio. Today, let's discuss how a comprehensive call flow works. And so this call flow here provides IVR functionalities. It can queue, route, and transfer a call. The required components are ingress gateway, VXML gateway. So this VXML gateway right here, if and as needed, can be used to connect to a third-party speech recognition server like Nuance. So, and here we have CVP call server. CVP call server also hosts a number of uh, services or subsystems like ICM subsystems, SIP subsystems, and IVR subsystems. It has VXML server where our voice application resides and media server where the audio files required for the voice application reside. These are the audio files either provided by the client or produced by our organization. So if a call comes in, it either comes in from a PSTN or a voice over IP connection to the gateway. The ingress gateway matches the dial number with a peer with a dial peer to be specific. Uh, those are nothing but specific instructions to handle this call and sends that information about the DM via SIP proxy server as a HTTP request to the CVP call server. Here, the SIP service collects the information from the SIP invite and sends it to ICM service. This creates a routing request. Basically, it's trying to figure out based on the information received like for example, DNIS. Uh, DNIS is nothing but the number that was called by the caller. It basically helps to determine the intent of the caller. So now ICM subsystem is trying to figure out what should I do with this information that just came in with this call. And just to uh, remind you guys, after the call comes in, whatever that is traveling here in the system is just the messages about the call. So now uh, the routing request is sent through this peripheral gateway to the ICM. Peripheral gateway is something which is required because these two different, these two peripherals have different protocols and different signaling methods. So peripheral gateway translates the signal so that they both can understand and communicate with each other. So. Uh, the call now enters ICM. ICM is Intelligent Contact Management. When the call enters the ICM, it hits start. And here we set different variables, like we put IP address of the CVP server. We set, we set the location for the media files, where to go and find those audio files to be Late. We set the language preferences, uh, the language you want to uh, con connect, you want to use to connect with your uh, caller. Uh, and then we set the application we want this ICM script to point to. Uh, the, after setting up the variables in the ICM script, it is sent to VRU. VRU is nothing but a voice response unit and this plays recorded announcements and response to caller when, you know, he touches the uh, dial pad and inputs other information and it can also be instructed to run an external script. Now here in the ICM, ICM is trying to make a decision for the call by matching DN with a call type, like for example, which department the call came in for and it runs the user-defined external script that we were talking about. Now, this script only contains the information to launch the application on the VXML server. Here, the VXML server, as we discussed, hosts the voice application. Uh, the call router then sends back this information through peripheral gateway to the uh, call server. The call server then tells the voice browser to launch the application from VXML server. The voice browser requests the application from VXML server and forwards the audio response back to the ingress gateway. And then ingress gateway uh, responds to the caller.
To summarize what happened here was the voice gateway communicates with the call server, which in turn forwards the call information to the unified ICM. Call router, which is in the ICM, follows a script based on this call's call type. The script contains instructions to launch the application on the VXML server. So uh, let's just, there are two things uh, you should be mindful about. Uh, once the, like we discussed, once the call comes in, only the message about the call flows in the system and ICM never interacts with the call. It just makes the decision as to what to do with this call. See you in the next video.